what's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and we've got our week four power rankings for the Big Ten. Not a whole lot of shifts this week. Didn't really have that many big games in the Big Ten, uh, but we did move a few teams around just a little bit. And let's start at the bottom with number 14. We've got Rutgers coming in at 14. Uh, they did get a win over an FCS opponent. Uh, so it was kind of a debate for me on whether or not you put Rutgers or, or Illinois here. But Illinois still definitely has the better wins. Uh, and well, Illinois is 2-1, Rutgers is 1-2. So in the end, Illinois has two wins, Rutgers just has one. And speaking of Illinois, they come in at number 13. They had a, a tough loss against South Florida, but that's a really good football team. And so we're, we're still not 100% sure how good this Illinois team is going to be. Maybe they're going to be pretty good, maybe they're not. Uh, we'll find out more as we get into Big Ten play. But for now, we're keeping them down here near the bottom at number 13. And at number 12, we've got Northwestern. They did get a big win, uh, but still, I can't get over that blowout loss to Duke and that close win against Nevada. Uh, this is a team, though, that I still think has a lot of potential, so I think you could start seeing them move up on this list. Uh, starting very soon and number 11 a team falling quickly it's the Nebraska Cornhuskers uh, you could you could definitely make a case that they should be a little lower actually as they've now lost two games an inexcusable loss to Northern Illinois uh, but you know throwing two pick sixes in one game of course you're you're not going to do very well so maybe if they clean that up this team can bounce back and play a lot better and, and be a better team and number 10 we've got Indiana uh, the Hoosiers haven't really played anybody since the Ohio State game, but I'm still pretty high on this team, especially that offense, and I think they're going to be a dangerous one in the Big Ten. And there's, I still, I stand by it. They're going to upset somebody in the Big Ten. Don't know who it'll be, but they're going to get somebody. Uh, number nine, Purdue. You might could start moving them up even more as Purdue is looking good. They had a blowout win over Missouri on the road. Uh, so we're going to find out a lot about this Purdue team as they take on Michigan this weekend and what's a sneaky good game in the Big Ten. So we're looking forward to that one. Number eight, I've still got Maryland in here that didn't play this weekend, but that win over Texas really looks good for them. I think they had a blowout win in the se in their second game. Uh, so, yeah, Maryland is looking good right now, and they're a surprise. Purdue and Maryland, uh, two, two definite surprise teams here in the Big Ten. Up to number seven, we've got Minnesota. The defense has, has been good all year long, and now the offense is starting to come come along. So you add all that together, and Minnesota now is really looking like a serious threat in the Big Ten West. So Wisconsin better watch out for the Golden Gophers. All right, we're going to keep going now to number six. I've got Michigan State at number six. The defense, it's like that old Michigan State defense. They've played really well this year. Offense has gotten it going with Lewerke. Uh, they haven't played anybody real great yet. They played Notre Dame this weekend, uh, so that's going to be a big one. Uh, if they win that one, you're going to see Michigan State in my top 25. I can pretty much guarantee you that. Uh, so, yeah, they're up here at number six. Iowa at number five. Still undefeated, looking good. And that, that win over Iowa State, it, was, it went to overtime, but it was still a win. I guess a pretty solid team, and they beat North Texas pretty easily as well. So uh, we're going to find out. You know, a lot of these teams we're going to start finding out about, and we'll find out in a big way with Iowa taking on Penn State Saturday night. Number four, Ohio State. They look good this past weekend, uh, but I still got them at number four just because they have that one loss. Um, you can make a case for them, you know, maybe being two or three, but for now, we're going to put them at number four, and we'll see where they go from here. Uh, keeping it going now at number three, we've got the Michigan Wolverines. Uh, they've been struggling a little bit. The offense is having having a hard time getting going. Uh, the defense continues to play really well for them, and because of that, they're still, you know, a very dangerous team here in the Big Ten. And if they can get that offense going just a little bit better, yeah, Michigan, watch out. They could be a playoff contender this year. And number two, we've got Wisconsin. They roll over BYU. I was surprised how easily that game went for them. I mean, they took care of business. And shut BYU down to just six points. So Wisconsin looking very good. It kind of looks like we're going to have a Wisconsin versus Penn State matchup in the Big Ten Championship because Penn State continues to roll as well. Haven't really been tested, though. You know, Pittsburgh's a decent team, and they blew them out. But they're going to be tested Saturday night on the road at Iowa. Iowa is known to pull off an upset, you know, there at home. So that is a huge, huge game in the Big Ten. 
Uh, and it's one that Penn State's got to have because you can't not I – re- I still don't really see Penn State going on the road and beating Ohio State. So, you lose to Iowa, and then if they are not able to pull off that one over Ohio State, uh, they're pretty much done. So, this is a huge game for Penn State. They've got to go in there. they got to go in on the road and pull it out. But it's going to be a lot of fun. And you can watch – Uh, Our Big Ten preview, we're going to preview every game here coming up in week four later today. So make sure you watch for that video. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.